Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Candice Chantel, your rapid manifestation coach. And I teach you the easiest, simplest, fastest, most low effort ways to manifest possible. Okay. If you're a member of this community, you know, manifesting isn't complicated. It's simple. All right. So I am a manifesting coach. So if you want me to help you bring your desires into your life, like quickly, rapidly, that's my whole thing. Check out the links in the description box below. Coaching is open. So I had a question, um, the other day under a video and it was like, okay, well, how do I know which affirmations to use? So I thought I would do a quick video to tell you guys how it is that I set my own affirmations, how I set the affirmations for my clients and, you know, just so that you can try to do it for yourself. I also have a module on this in the course. It's like get your desires in days because affirmations are really the pillar for me to manifesting because it is so easy. You can do it with feeling, you can do it without feeling, you can do it while you're, you know, going to sleep, while you're doing the laundry, you can do it anytime, but it, these affirmations, they're always working to change your subconscious and you will start seeing results very, very quickly from using affirmations. So how to get the perfect ones for your desire. Okay, so this is basically the, the process that I go through. The first thing, is you have to think about what you want, right? You have to know what you want. And we're only gonna do one topic at a time because you only need to create affirmations for one specific topic at a time. Once you're done with that set, think about the next thing you want, make a set of affirmations for that. Think about the next thing you want, make a set of affirmations for that. And you'll use those affirmations throughout the day, you know, whenever you have time in order to change your thoughts and beliefs. I've done videos on how to affirm and what ways work best. But today's not about that. It's about how to get your affirmation. So let's go. The first thing you need to do after you think about what you want is you're just going to write down, these are going to be your, your basic affirmations. You should only have like two or three, maybe four that come with this. Basically, just what do you want? State that you have your desire. So if it is a new car, if it is a certain amount of money, if it is an experience or a trip that you want to take, if it is a relationship with a person, um, you know, whether romantic or platonic, you simply need to write down what it is that you want from, you know, for that desire. So I have, and you always want to write it in the present tense, right? You don't want to write, I want, because then it's like, you're just telling yourself that you want it and you'll just manifest more wanting it and not having it. So you want to write it in the present tense like you already have it, okay? So I have a brand new 2023 Jeep Cherokee L. You know, I don't know what it is that you want. I make $300 every day from my candle making business. Um, I am in a loving, fun relationship with so-and-so. Or if it's not someone that you know that you have your eye on already, you can say, I meet tons of new people and have tons, you know, I go on tons of dates and have tons of prospects, whatever it is that you want. Basically, you just want to initially state what it is that you have. Now, if there are additional details around that, this is where you come to your, um, this is where you come to the other affirmations that you want. For instance, with the car, let's say you wanted to get it for a certain price. So I have a brand new Jeep Cherokee L, brand new white Jeep Cherokee L. You can put the color. Um, my Jeep only cost $25,000. You can put how much you want to pay for it. My new Jeep is so awesome and it has under 50,000 miles. You see what I'm saying? So write down the things that you want. These are your first couple of affirmations. Just the bare bones basics of what it is that you want. Um, again, if we're talking about the money, you can say like, I make $300 a day in my candle making business. Um, I don't have to put, I don't have to spend any money on advertising because, you know, I just have tons of clients rolling in. Like whatever else you want to add to that, perfect. Um, I am in. I meet so many nice guys that like can't wait to go on dates with me and they're all over six feet tall. Like if you want to say they're over six feet tall, whatever it is that you want, these are your first, you know, just like the, the it's, it's almost generic, right? But it has some specifics as to what you want. But these are like just the generic affirmations and the generic statements of what it is that you want. These are going to comprise kind of like your baseline affirmations. Now, 
these ones are important to have, but to me, I kind of have them there like by default. I have them there because they just need to be there. The universe needs to know what I want. But are these the ones that are actually gonna do all the hard work? No, these affirmations are not. The ones I'm about to tell you about are the ones that are gonna do the heavy lifting for you. Now, when it comes to these affirmations, the next couple, the next probably four or five that you have after, that you come up with after that, these are the ones that are going to get you what you want and attack your limiting beliefs at the same time. So when you hear some manifestation people, especially law of attraction people, when you hear them saying things like, um, you have to do shadow work or you have to like heal your inner wounds or you know you have to do such and such about your limiting beliefs before you get what you want no these affirmations here and this is one thing that i love about law of assumption is that these affirmations here that i'm about to tell you how to how to create will do both for you they will both get you what you want and attack your limiting beliefs at the same time and you do not have to do any extra work now, this is where it gets very specific to you. When it comes to that car, okay? When it comes to the money, when it comes to the relationship, you have your per perspective, your beliefs, your experiences, which have shaped your thoughts around why you think you can't have what you want, okay? So for one person, maybe they feel like their credit is not good enough to get a new car. And so no one will approve them for the car. So what I want you to do is, and, and you can write this on a sheet of paper, put it in your notes, in your phone, whatever your desire is, look at that first list that you created. Look at that list of whatever it is that you want and read it to yourself. Oh, I have this, I have that. And I bet you there's going to be some like little feelings that come up, some grossness that comes up like, yeah, right, but I can't have this because those are the things that you now need to write down. Write down why you think you can't have this thing. What are the obstacles that are in your way for the new car? And I'm just using some examples, y'all, but you know, you have to kind of apply this to your own situation. For your new car, my credit isn't good enough. I never get approved. Jeeps are so expensive now, I'm not going to be able to find it for the price that I want. All of these things are actually running in the back of your mind on autopilot, fighting against the affirmations that we just wrote. So what do we have to do? We have to retrain our brains using affirmations to think the opposite. So that instead of having your subconscious limiting beliefs fight you in your affirmations, now they're gonna be helping you to get what you want. So my credit doesn't matter. I always get approved for everything I want every single time. There's always someone who will approve me and figure out a way to make it happen. I find the perfect Jeep. There's tons of affordable Jeeps in my area. So you see what I did there? Those new affirmations that I, that I just made up are the exact opposite of what I said. My credit isn't good enough, I won't get approved. No, I always get approved. My credit doesn't matter. I always get approved for what I want. There's always somebody willing to approve me and to figure it out, right? Um, oh, Jeeps are so expensive now. I'm not going to be able to find one for the right price. There are tons of affordable Jeeps in my area. I'm going to find one for the exact price that I price that I want. No problem. So you take those two sets of affirmations, put them together, and this is how you are going to affirm for the next couple of days, you know, using your aff affirming routine to get what you want. And I promise you will start to see evidence of your affirmations working in your life Literally within 24 hours, you're going to start to see it. There's something called a, an alpha sign and a beta sign. I don't know if I have time to talk about it. No, I'm at nine minutes. I don't have time to talk about it today. But you will start to see evidence of your desire within 24 hours, literally, even if it's just like a small sliver of something. Okay, with the with the money, right? Um, Yeah, okay, I want to make $300 in my candle business but not that many people know about me. I don't even have this many visitors to my site every day. My conversion levels are low. How is that even going to happen? Okay, boom. It doesn't matter how many it doesn't matter how many site visitors I have. The people who come to my site always purchase. Word of mouth works so well with my business. Sometimes they haven't even visited my website and people purchase. You see what I'm saying? 
Whatever you have said to yourself, you have got to do the exact opposite in order to affirm. That's why I say write it down. Whatever you think, it's literally that simple. Whatever you think is holding you back, whatever you think your obstacles are, write them down and you can look at them and literally just change a few words to make it the exact opposite. These are gonna be your new affirmations, okay? The same with relationships. Um, what did I say? You meet somebody, I'm always meeting people that wanna take me on dates. I meet people that are six feet tall, like I'm in this awesome relationship. Okay, what are the, what are the obstacles around that? Men these days never wanna settle down. All the men that I see are you know short little trolls like whatever oh my god i'm sorry for my short kings out there i just I'm just using you know some figure speech whatever so say the opposite okay everyone i meet is on the same page as me all the guys i meet are looking for a relationship it's crazy i have never seen anything like it affirm the exact opposite okay um wow I have never seen so many men that physically meet my type in one week. It's wild. I usually never see the now every man I see is, is every man I see is physically my type. You have to use these obstacles and you know limiters, write down the opposite, completely flip it around, and this is how you're going to do the heavy lifting and manifest faster. Okay, so just to recap, step one. Write down the basics, the generics of what it is that you want. Step two, write down, the, this forms the first half of your list. Step two, write down the obstacles, the limiting beliefs, the reasons why it can't happen. Take it, scribble it out, throw, scrunch it up and throw it away. Completely write down the opposite of all those statements. These are going to be your second set of affirmations. Put them together and this is what you're going to use in order to have the most effective personalized, customized, specific to your subconscious affirmations possible, okay? I hope that helped. I hope it wasn't too much. I have had so much practice in doing this that it comes like like this to me now, especially because I've done it for so many people, so many clients, that it comes so easily. But you guys, just like I say, everything just takes practice. And once you get good at it, you are going to start to see that you are just like a crazy effective manifester. You, you know, you ain't worried about a thing. All right. See you guys in the next video.